Hey. We're live wire here at the home office. Uh, strictly business today. Day 92 on the calendar. Officially, it's... We have another 30 days of self-quarantine. So with that being said, uh, what are you going to do with the next 720 hours of your life? What are you going to do with the next 43,000 200 minutes of your life and this is what I like what are you going to do with the next 2,592,000 seconds of your life that's 30 days y'all so I challenge you as we prepare to self-quarantine for the next uh, 30 days once again day 92 Illinois day 11 self-quarantine what are the top three things that you should be doing over the next 30 days of your life? What are the top three things that you could do to change your life? Top three things to do to change your life in 30 days. Here it is. Number one thing you can do to change your life over the next 30 days is to quit a bad habit. Which means you have to come to realize that all of us have a vice or vices and that you could, you could spend the next 30 days of your life changing and stopping that bad habit. You can change that. That's the number one thing that you should be working on over the next 30 days is what are my bad habits? What, what, what's one thing that I can stop doing that'll change my life for the rest of my life? Number two, you guys have heard me say this over and over again is uh, start a business, a side hustle, a part-time income, something that you have 100% control over to the best of your ability in the Most High God. Obviously, you don't control everything in your life because we do have to abide by rules and regulations and laws and morality and virtue and things of that nature, but you need to have an income stream that you lead, that you, you're the lead steward. So over the next 30 days, over the next 720 hours, you should focus in on, if you already have a business, like what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm zeroing in, I'm locking in on all the income streams, uh, I'm looking at how much debt I owe, how much money I owe, organizing all my old bank stuff, going through throwing away stuff, I'm purging stuff that I don't need, I'm going through stuff, and it's, uh, it's, it is literally astounding how much trash we have that we don't need anymore. So I'm getting rid of stuff, uh, going through old files, updating stuff, getting rid of stuff, organizing all my uh, debt that I have, because I wanna know at the end of these 30 days how much I owe. I wanna know that, I, w I, I wanna know that number. Why, because I wanna look at that number and I wanna say, okay, now if I owe this amount of money, what do I need to be generating in my businesses? Or if you have a career, your side hustle to start eradicating, start minimizing that debt load. So start a business, get a side hustle, get a part-time income. Okay? And then here is the third thing that will change your life humongously. Wake up an hour earlier. Why would you why would you do that? Let's sleep in. Let's enjoy the time. No. You enjoyed it the first couple of days when they said you didn't got to come to work. Kids are out of school. You guys enjoyed it the first couple of days, the first week. You didn't make the kids go to school. You didn't make the kids punch on. And guess what? They all know that. There's 55 million plus kids out of school right now, out of organized school. And everybody knows. The government knows it. The states knows it. And it's wrecking havoc on the habits and the mental formations of, of our young adults. Okay, and I challenge you to wake up an hour earlier every day. Now, what does that do to the other two in the list? Well, if you wake up an hour earlier, that because that means you become more uh, productive for your business, and then you become more effective if you quit a bad habit. So now you have more time to be more effective. Recap. 
what are you gonna do with your 720 hours? What are you gonna do with your 43,200 minutes? What are you gonna do with your 2,592,000 seconds? What are you gonna do? I challenge you, number one, start a business. Number two, quit a bad habit. Number three, wake up an hour earlier. And then guess what? Those are not in any particular order. Those are just the top three things that you need to be doing to change your life in the next 30 days. Day 92 on the calendar, Illinois day 11 on the self-quarantine. God bless you, God keep you. I challenge you, make a change over the next 30 days. It's up to you. You can change your life. Follow us in the links below. Check us out. The Pink God Can, the Purple God Can, and just started our Night Zero podcast. That'll be in the link below as well. Strictly business. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.